What is up my fellow gamers, it's Avidicus Dragon here, and I am taking a look at Darkfall Unholy Wars. Uh, Darkfall Unholy Wars is a PvP-oriented game. It's meant for guilds and people that want uh, basically to have an open-world PvP experience. There's a lot of different things in the game. Um, you don't have to focus on PvP if you don't want to, but that is the main focus, and anyone that joins Darkfall with a focus of, you know, something other than PvP, you are you might be disappointed. Now, crafting is a huge, huge part of Darkfall and Holy Wars. Everything has to be crafted. Um, you can buy some basic items, but you cannot buy armor or weapons or anything like that from vendors anymore. Um... The, they changed around a lot of the, the game from Darkfall 1, and this is kind of like a reboot of the game. I'll tell you, because I played Darkfall 1, and now I'm playing Darkfall and Holy Wars, it is completely better, in my opinion. The There's still a grind, okay? There is still a grind for the game, um, but it's really more fun, in a sense. Um, and uh, I think the PvP is better. Um, and you have classes now, you don't have, like, in Darkfall 1, anybody could be a mage, or anybody could be anything, and that was kind of annoying, because, you know, everybody had the best spells, everybody had the best, you know, had archery, everybody had everything, and it made it just kind of annoying, so now, you have these skills, um, you have four main classes, so you have warrior, skirmisher, elementalist, and primalist and with these you have two main uh, schools uh, for me I'm a warrior and my main school is there's battle brand and berserk or bear bear sark uh, I think that's bear bear sark um, but anyway you have uh, so you have different, if I, you can change your class at any time. So let me just start off by saying that you can, you can change what you want to be at any time. It only takes 30 minutes and then you can switch again. So that's pretty cool. You can switch and be anything you want. Now you have a bunch of different skills, um, in the game and you have, all, everybody has access to basic spells like stamina to health heal self, and so forth. You can spend points to level these skills up. Now, you spend prowess to level things. Prowess is gained by uh, doing anything in the game. You can kill monsters, you can uh, complete feats, you can mine, you can craft, you can chop wood. Everything gains prowess. Up here at the top, I have these different feats. You, there's feats for everything. There's monster feats, crafting feats, and so forth. If you complete these feats, like this one here, competent ghouls, if I perform the killing blow on 30 ghouls, I'll get 63 prowess. And that prowess will be used to spend uh, on, my, on leveling up my character and purchasing uh, skills, upgrading my skills, and so forth. Um, you can see here my combat skills... I have Great Axes to 100 already, and now I'm working on Great Axe Mastery. This increases the damage dealt when dealed, uh, wielding two-handed axes. And you'll notice that as you increase the your, your level, the prowess cost goes up. See that? So that means that um, the higher it goes, the more prowess you need to spend on a point. So... Um, that's basically how it works. You can level up a lot of skills up to like 20, and that'll only cost you 20 prowess per skill if you wanted. But to level them up higher than that, you're going to have to spend more points. You also have uh, different boosters. These boosters can be used and purchased um, to give you an instant boost in your stats. So right now, I have a uh, booster for strength which is giving me plus 20 strength and plus 75 health. So that's pretty pretty important right off the bat. 
Um, and you could switch these boosters at any time if you switch classes or uh, switch roles. Um, uh, let's see, what else? There's there's all kinds of different things here. Um, you have, uh, this is your paper doll where you have your armor and everything. And I've got uh, 46 strength right now, not that great. But you can increase your strength um, or your attributes as well. So as I increase my strength, again, the cost goes up. So your stats, your main stats are going to cost a lot to get them to 100. Um, you have a backpack here that has all of your items and loot and stuff. And of course you have a guild bank or a regular bank if you're not in a guild. And you can see I've kind of separated my stuff by crafting uh, these bags and, and labeling these bags to hold all of my, my armor and different resources that I have. So, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, one of the things to note in this is that there is a, there is a safe zone. Um, I am in the wolf uh, city, the Mahiram uh, main city. Uh, well, not the main one, but the, one of the starting towns. Everything in this green area is a safe zone. So I can travel to these monsters, like these trolls. Um, I'm going to travel to them right now. Just to show you a little bit of combat and so forth. But uh, you can travel safely without getting attacked. So if you want to be a crafter, you can craft all you want. The only, diff the only thing about that is... You have to, to get better uh, resources, um, you have to go outside of the safe zone. The safe zones are mined. They're, all of the resources are pretty much scavenged 24-7. So you're not going to really find any resources there, for one. Uh, and two, uh, they have the lowest rate for, uh, for better stuff. Like if you're mining ore... There's all kinds of different ore that you can get from mining. Um, and as you mine that outside of the town in more difficult uh, areas, um, your chance to get, you know, like, celentine ore, which is what you need to craft, like, plate armor and stuff like that, that chance goes up. So, you just, um, you know, you can craft a lot in the, in the safe zones, but... You're really going to have to have somebody provide you with the materials, or you're going to have to go out and farm them yourself. Now, the world is extremely huge. Um, it would take you probably three hours to run from one side to the other. It, it really is large. Uh, now, if you had a mount, you could do that, but... Um, it still would take you a long time. But I also have these feats that I can complete. Um, yeah. I'll go to the trolls, though, because they're right here. Show you some of that. I do have a mount. I can summon a mount. Um, one of the things you want to do is um, bind your spells and all of your keys. You're going to want to bind everything completely new um darkfall uses a radio uh, a radial wheel to uh use your skills so you drag your skills onto uh the wheel basically and you can uh set up different keys to cast those spells um so i've customized all of my keys and you really need that for pvp because it's um the, the radial wheel isn't that great, and it's not that quick to use. And so, yeah, crafting is very strong. It's, it's a lot of fun, and they made it even better in this game. What you can do is, um, let's see all these weapons in my inventory. If I wanted to salvage them, all I would do is I'd put them in a bag, 
and then I would put the bag in the crafting station and I can automatically salvage all of them um, and it'll automatically do it for you. It will um, it'll tell you how long it'll take and then it'll automatically do it. So you can go and grab a coffee or something and come back and it will automatically, um, your character will sit there hammering everything and um, uh, it will salvage them and then you'll get materials from them. And um, so that's pretty viable too, is you can come in here, you know, you can kill these trolls and loot them. And so you get some gold and you get raw hides, which are good for crafting. And, um, and then you can take those materials and, um, and craft, uh, craft items. So if you want to be an armor smith, you want to be a, a leather smith, a, you know, a, an enchanter, um, you know, a bowyer smith. If you want to be everything, you can do that. I make my own armor as well because, uh, I'd rather not buy it from somebody. Um, cause I'm kind of low on cash, uh, and armor you lose quite often. So it's probably good to know if you can make your own. I do enjoy the crafting part of the game as well. So it's, it's actually really fun for me. So I, I do that as well. You can skin, um, you can skin, uh, little corpses as well if you want. That'll give you some uh, enchanting um, items, I believe. And again, you can you can cast your spells. I've got a cool little maelstrom spell that like does a uh, kind of like a flip thing, like a spin move, basically. Uh, it's kind of like Whirlwind in uh, Dark Fall 1. Um, uh, one thing to note here is that you can see how much prowess somebody has at the bottom right corner of the screen. So this guy has 2.69k prowess. So that tells you kind of like... It gives you an indication of like how good they are. Um, maybe not necessarily how good, but how, um, like, how much better in stats-wise they are than you. You know, somebody that has 15k prowess and you only have 5, you're gonna get rolled. I mean, unless they suck really bad, you, it's just, they're gonna do too much damage to you. Um, so, you, you're gonna have to keep that in mind. You're gonna have to roll with some friends, you know, if you wanna PvP. You know, you can do some solo PvP for sure, but uh, you're gonna have to be careful. That's for that's that's definitely for sure. Um, but again, Darkfall is also about uh, timing. You know, if people are out there uh, fighting monsters and stuff, and you wait for the right moment, you know, you can kill anybody in this game. You know, I I've done, uh, I've killed some some really better players than I uh, in Darkfall 1 just because I was patient and just because I'm good at player killing. I'm good at killing other players, you know, and who gives a shit about, you know, oh, well, they were killing monsters. Well, everybody's killing monsters in this game or, you know, doing something and they're not paying attention. You know, you always, you always have to keep your guard up. You always have to expect that Somebody is going to come in and kick your ass at any moment when you're outside of the safe zone, that is. So you have to be careful. People will sneak up on you. You can use the terrain to your advantage. Uh, you know, you can crawl and crouch so you can kind of sneak up. And, you know, um, I don't use, I don't have any of the graphic settings turned on. So this game looks really good without anything turned on and no anti-aliasing, nothing. It looks amazing with all the graphics turned on. But if you're playing the game for PvP, turn that shit off because everybody else has it turned off and you want as much FPS as you can. 
Um, now, Darkfall is a game where if you have the shadows turned on, or if somebody has the shadows turned on, and you know where the shadows are, you can hide in those shadows and they won't see you. Um, that's um, That actually did work for me a couple times where people had shadows turned on on their graphics card and they couldn't see me. Uh, but in the most uh, most cases, you'll uh, you'll run into people that will be able to see you because they have shadows turned off. And I mean, there's still sort of some shadows, but it's really low. You can't really. They're not as great as they are in the actual, uh, with them turned on all the way. Um, so I'm going to show you some other stuff here. Let's go back and do some crafting. Uh, there also is archery. Um, archery is crazy. Um, this animation is, is really... It looks awesome, but... I don't know. Uh, oh, damn. I just drilled that troll from back here. <laughs> but you can also go into third person if you like. Most people like third person. I'd like third person as well than first. Um, but you can do that if you want. You can also craft mounts as well if you want to. Um, if you get steed grass, you can craft mounts. Mounts are definitely good. Um, I'm in a guild right now. I, I met some friends that I played Darkfall 1 with. And I funny thing is I was just actually uh, at a spawn with... And I ran into one of them and I was like, oh shit, how are you, man? And, uh, and then so I've been playing with them. So you'll probably see me live streaming and... Um, and uh, I'm, I'm doing pretty... The, the FPS is actually not that bad recording. So I may just do a lot more recording as well. Um, YouTube is always going to be my first choice. I love live streaming, um, but, you know, I have to, I don't have the time to do it all the time, and you really have to dedicate, you know, a good amount of time to live stream, so, uh, I don't do it that often, probably on the weekends most of the time, but, yeah, feel free to check out my Twitch TV channel if you want to um, see some of the things I've done. Um, anything I've done with Darkfall uh, will be there, and uh, you'll be able to see that. So kind of like the beginning part of the game where I was starting out, you can see some of that. So what I do is I have this bag called Salvageables, and look at all this shit in here. I've got all these items... Um, that are just, they range from, you know, everything, really. And I just put a bunch of shit in here that I don't want. And, um, and then I carry the bag and, uh, salvage it. Salvaging is really awesome because it gives you materials. And you do have a weight limit, so down here you can see at the bottom right I have 304 um, out of 350 kilograms. Uh, you can still move when you're overloaded, but you walk really slow. Alright, let's see here. I need to go to the... Uh, oh, you can see this is a guild member right here, so... Anybody that's in your guild will appear green. Um, I need to go to the sage vendor. No, wait, not the workbench. Um, yeah, the laboratory. So to, to salvage uh, staffs, you have to use the laboratory. To salvage armor, you have to use a smithy, and to salvage bows, you have to use the workbench. To salvage armor, if it's leather, it's the workbench. If it's ar um, steel, then you have to use the smithy. So, depending on what it is, you have to use that tool to salvage. 
So for the laboratory, you can see I've got, there's alchemy. All these different things you can craft, man. You could just craft potions, um, skinning materials, all kinds of things. There's mount summoning, so you can um, create mounts. Uh, let's see, there's staff crafting, so if you want to make staffs. But right now I'm going to do salvaging, so I'm going to open up the salvaging window, and all I do is I just drop my salvaging bag right onto it. And what it does is it automatically queues up all my staffs. So you can see I'm, I have them all right in there. And it tells you right at the bottom, total time, 4 minutes, 10 seconds. Um, shit, it's going to cost me 25 gold, which I don't have. Damn it. Alright. You got to have gold to salvage or craft anything, so... That's a little bit different than Darkfall 1. You um, you definitely have to have money to craft. So, I'm just going to split this up into like 120. That should be good. And obviously up at the top you have your stats and skills, uh, well, your, your health and stamina and mana. Alright, so I'm going to drag my salvaging bag, and then um, it tells you salvage amount, how many items queued, how much gold, and um, how much it takes to craft each one, and then how much time total. So, begin salvaging. And so at this time, I could leave and go get a drink or something. So I, what I do is I, um, I, I put everything in a bag as, as much as I want. Like, you know, and then once a week, I'll go in and or once every couple of days, I'll, I'll take the bag to, uh, you know, one, one section uh, or one laboratory or whatever. And I'll just craft or I'll salvage items that I don't need. Um, so, you know, if you want to, if you don't really feel like doing PvP or you don't feel like killing monsters, you just want to craft, this is, this is fun to do. Um, obviously this part isn't really that entertaining, but, uh, it's just something you can, you can do to get materials. So, I have a log here, let's see. I'm getting one wood. Let's see. Uh, your latest action has rewarded you with point two prowess. So you know, as you craft uh, better items, you'll get more prowess for those items. Um, if you're crafting low end stuff compared to your skill level, then um, you know you're not going to gain much prowess for it. And yeah, so then in my bag, you can see I'm getting Actually, I don't see that I'm getting leather. Where the hell is that? Oh. Oh, there it is. It's putting it in the bag itself. That's pretty awesome. So you can see here I'm getting um, materials. Iron ingots, wood, leather from um, from salvaging all of these staffs and as my skill with salvage goes up um, my percentage goes up so that means that I'll end up getting more materials for that um, I think my skill level is let's see skills uh, general skills crafting yeah my salvaging is uh, almost 21 right now, so as that goes higher, these skills you don't actually increase, these, uh, or you don't actually spend prowess to increase them, they just go up over time by use. Wood cutting is really easy to get up, uh, you know, you just, you can, trees are easy to find, 
<laughs> and yeah, so you can do you can pretty much level up anything in the game. If you want to do everything, you could literally level up everything if you wanted. It would take you a long, long time, but you know, you'd really want to focus on what you want to be. So you know, my guess, uh, my best advice is if you're starting out in Darkfall, um, the things that you want to know is you want to have a group of friends um, or find a group of, uh, find a guild to play with, somebody to take you in. But you also want to pick what you want to be and stick with that. Uh, right now, warriors are pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, but I've seen some primalists that are really good as well. There's still some good skirmishers, too. It, it, I don't know. People say warriors are the best, but to me, I think if you just know how to play the class good, you can, you can do, you know, you can do well. You're not always going to be able to kill everybody in the game, you know, but, um, you know, if you want to be versatile, if you want to be a solo player, you know, being a skirmisher is probably the way you want to go. Um, but you could be, instead of like being a, um, uh, you know, instead of being a, uh, what am I trying to say here? A dex, yeah. Instead of being a dexterity uh, skirmisher, you could be a warrior skirmisher. So instead of increasing your dexterity, you could purchase uh, boosters for strength, okay? But you get the skills of the skirmisher. So instead of being, um, you you know, you can have the archer skills. So you'd have these uh, these archery skills, which I've leveled up. I started out as a skirmisher. Luckily, I didn't level my skills too high. Um, but you can um, use these skills like dash and leap and evade. Those skills will help you get away if you're um, a skirmisher. I've seen some skirmishers be able to run away from uh, from people that way. Um, so, yeah, it really just depends on what you want to play. There are other skills and spells in the game that you don't start out with. So if you go up to any vendor, Spellmaster, for instance, there's... Um, spells for primalists there's other ones like wall of righteous force spirit bond primal surge healing blast these cost prowess to buy so you know these aren't something you want to buy right away but you definitely want to buy them at some point um let's see what else is there there's a magic supplier let's see what she has you can buy regents, um, crafting skills. Uh, yeah, so you can buy mastery of those crafting skills as well. I forgot about that. So there's a mastery level that you need to uh, to um, create the best armor in the game, the best uh, weapons in the game, and so forth. So that costs 10,000 prowess, so that'll take you a while to get there. And that, that shining light right there is a bind stone, so you can bind to this town. If you die, you can um, basically uh, uh, start back in this town again, and you can bind at any town that you want, really, that has a bind stone. And yeah, so that's pretty much my overview of Darkfall right now. Um, I probably missed all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of new features. One is that you can see where all the monster spawns on are, uh, are now. That wasn't in the game before. You can turn these options on and off if you want. Uh, you can see where different points of interest are on the map. You can bind stone recall from here. Um, all kinds of different things. Uh, let's see what else. There's different feats. I don't know if I showed you the feats yet. But, uh... 
So uh, these are different feats that you can accomplish. Uh, let's go to all feats. So you can see here, there's this is one. This one's huge. Master Evil Eyes Blinder. Perform the killing blow on 150 Evil Eyes. If you do that, not only do you get prowess for killing them, but you also get 11,262 prowess. So those are obviously really hard, and you may need a group to kill them, but that's, you know, that's something you can accomplish. And it tells you a number next to how many you've done so far. So there's a ton of monster feats. There's uh, crafting, like this one, Major Timber Gatherer. You get 300 prowess for harvesting 3,000 pieces of timber. So right now I'm at 66, so I've got a long way to go on that one. Good lord, look at this. Major Thyral Essence Gatherer. 53,000 prowess for that one. That's crazy. So right now I'm working my way up to, um, I have Miner Celentine Essence Gatherer. Um, and then once I finish this one, then I can unlock Average Celentine Essence. So you have to complete the bottom level, um, uh, the bottom level feat before you can go to the next one. And yeah, there's just all kinds of different things. There's also PvP feats as well, so... If you just want to do PvP, you can do that. Uh, there's some for there's one for exploring. Uh, there's also uh, some for owning a house. There's um, you also gain some. There's hidden feats as well uh, that aren't really shown. Uh, I'm not really sure why they're hidden, but uh, one of them is like. Like one was um, uh, Master Creep Slayer, performed the killing blow on 900 creeps. I did that and I got 915 prowess. That was pretty awesome. So, you know, all of a sudden you're like, you know, killing some monsters and then you find, uh, um, you, you find that you have like a ton of prowess and you wonder how you got it. So that's one way you can check is just looking at your... Uh, your accomplished feats. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, kind of like overview of Darkfall. Probably won't talk about talk about all the features next time. Uh, I'll probably just get into the game and show you gameplay um, or whatever it is that I'm doing at the time. If I'm rolling with my guild, then um, or the, the guild that I'm playing with, um, then uh, you'll see some of that. So. Stay, uh, stay tuned for more Darkfall. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If you have any questions or comments, uh, I'll definitely respond to them as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to click the like button, and I'll see you next time with more Darkfall.